Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to attempt to show you this. I probably should have waited until my hair was cut, but I didn't. So we're getting ready to leave to go out to eat with my in-laws. And a few of you have been asking me how I style my hair, which I never like to do in here. I never like to do a video on this because I can't see what I'm doing. Hopefully you'll be able to get a general idea of what I use, the products I use, how I use them, and you know, it is what it is. <laughs> if you want to see how this happened, just keep watching. Hey, this was tough getting in here right after I get out of the shower. I just washed it with shampoo. I don't condition it in the shower anymore. Um, then when I get out, I take my Amica Supernova. It's a shine cream and it is purple and I just take a tiny bit of it and do this <laughs> while it's really wet I take this wow it's the um, root I, I don't even know what that says raise the root that's what it says <laughs> So I give that a shake and then I just spray my hair with it and I do this. Just see I'm making a circle. I do like to make sure that this is pulled down and the very back of my hair is pulled down. As it starts to dry, I take these Laura Mercier clips and I put them on here because it does curl up and I don't like that. I am due for a haircut. The longer my hair gets, the worse it is. On camera in particular, I have a hard time with these lights are up here. They're like at a 45 degree angle up. Uh, mostly because of my glasses, even if I do my hair in the other room. <laughs> these lights shine down into my scalp and make my hair, like it drives me crazy. I can't stand being on camera actually, <laughs> but it's so crushing. <laughs> but I just keep doing that, just keep doing that so it doesn't dry in any particular pattern. Pulling this down so that this part ain't sticking up and pulling the back down while I'm doing my skincare, my masking, whatever I'm gonna be doing. Anyway, I'll be back when I get to the part where I do something different. Just keep moving my hair around. It's starting to dry. I have the clips in now, as you can probably see when I turn my head, and I'm just pulling my hair upwards all around. I have the first layer of my skincare done, and as it gets to this point, then I come in with my Wow Extra Large Bombshell Volumizer. It's a mousse, and then I just take one pump. That's it, just one pump. And work that through my hair like so. Just back and forth. At this point, I usually go in the bathroom and wash my hands. <laughs> to get that mousse off, but I'll just use a wet wipe for right now so that I can finish my skincare. I'll just do that right here because I actually do this thing with my skincare. <laughs> so now I take my double serum by Clarins and I actually put three pumps because some of it's going to go into my hair. <laughs> and I start from the center of my face and go out and I don't have my gua sha stone in here but I tend to use my gua sha stone while I'm putting this on so that I can you know work my lymphatic system and then whatever is left on my hands I come up and I just run it up there with everything else I put in my hair making sure I keep pulling my sides down the back down. When I go back for my hair trim, which will be here within the week, um, I'm gonna have to tell Kelly because the last time that she cut my hair, I don't know why, but <laughs> like we got involved in a conversation and she wasn't paying attention, I guess. And the back of my hair is blocked 
I mean, it's like, boom, like a blunt cut, and then the bottom, and it's normally tapered back there. I noticed that the other day, so I'm going to have to say, can we, like, taper the back of my hair again? But see, it's starting to get dry now, and that's all I do. <laughs> when it's completely dry, I take my Enjoy Wax and pull at the front and just kind of arrange my hair so that hopefully... You know, when you look at all angles in the mirror, there's no big holes or what my mom likes to call my old lady cracks. <laughs> uh, but that's basically it. I'm usually, you know, watching TV or doing something while I'm doing this. But anyway, I get my eye cream, my Tatcha eye cream, put that on. It might not look like it, but that serum has already settled into my face, and then I get my Tatcha water cream, wipe off my hands again, and then keep doing that to my hair. I feel like this is going to be such a disappointing video. <laughs> now I'm starting to pull at the front of my hair, and um, I just keep doing that while I'm putting on my makeup, and then I'll be back when I get to the part where I actually use the wax, because really I'm just continuing to do what I have been doing the whole time. <laughs> okay, so I got a little bit of makeup on now and I've got company at my house because my son has his friends over. And, you know, this is how it dried. All I do at this point is usually I will take this wax and I run it along about that much. <laughs> and this is gonna be awful because I can't see what I'm doing in here. Um, but I just get it on my fingers like so, so it's tacky, and then I run it here to make sure that these stay down. I usually grab the front of my hair and pull it across like so. Um, then I'll start running it through the rest of it just to kind of mold it a little bit. And I cannot tell if I'm getting all these holes covered or not. And in here, like I said, I can be like, get my hair done and it'll be great. <laughs> and then I come in here and I mean, cause I look in, in a mirror and check it from all sides. And then I come in here and these lights like go right through my hair and show some part of my scalp. I hate it. <laughs> but anyway, that's all I'm doing is just taking and getting this wax on here and molding it into place. And every day that's different. Some days that might be like pulling some over here. Um, I might take some and pull it this way. You know, like I said, I can't really do, I, I can't tell what I'm doing in here, but I'm just basically taking the wax and molding my hair. Second day is better than first day. Second day, I wake up with it all over my head, but because this wax is in here, pretty much all I have to do is take some bio silk oil, rub it in my hands, and go through my hair, and I can just put it back in place again. Let me go in the bathroom and see if I can see what I'm doing a little bit and come back. But, you know, like I said, I'm basically just pulling this and getting it to where the holes are covered on my hair or the best I can get them anyway. Let me do that and I'll come back and show you the hairspray I use. And yeah, all right? It's the best it's gonna get today. Like I said, it needs a trim. And now Shy Guy's in there and he's taking a shower and <laughs> I can't see real well. So this is about the best it's gonna get. Now I use Win. Win is a finishing treatment spray, AKA it's their version of a hairspray. I love it. It's freaking $40 a can. I'm totally addicted to it. Thank you, Win Fairy, which is Susie Hall. She sends this to me when she sees I'm getting low or I'm out. This can's almost done. And she sent me another can for my birthday. So I'm good. <laughs> anyway, so I just take the Win and I spray it. And I don't normally, like I said, do that in here. I'm real careful what I get hairspray on. And we're just going to hope that there's not very many holes. Like, I'm sure there's one right here. But I don't care. Where I'm going today, nobody's taller than me. 
or, or if they are, their opinion doesn't matter. Uh, but uh, so yeah, I think it's probably okay. You know, as usual, these lights are probably like right through my hair, but in daylight, it doesn't look like that. Anyway, so this is how the side is. And then, like I said, the back is not cut right. Um, she normally doesn't do this blunt thing here. It's normally tapered in the back. So <laughs> I'm going to have to point that out to her when I go back to get it trimmed that the back of my hair is not cut right. It's, this isn't how she normally does it. But anyway, that's the best I can do today. Tomorrow when I get up, uh, I will just take and, like I said, put some bio silk oil in my hands, run it through there, and then with everything that's in my hair, that's all it takes to bring it back to life again. Anyway, so I gotta get going because we're meeting the in-laws at Gray's Cafeteria, which if you're from Indiana, you know. That's special. <laughs> Hope you guys know you're the best part of the Fritzy family. And if you're not having a blessed day, just go be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you, see ya. Bye. And I'm out. I think I could use some moisture underneath my eyes. Let's pretend I don't have no teeth. <laughs> How are you guys? <laughs> I need to get my hoos and hocks. I thought my hoos and hocks were in here, but they're not. Do you guys know what hoos and hocks are? They're socks, silly. Shoes and socks. My hoos and hocks. Gotta get my hoos and hocks on. You know what this is? A big, 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 Oh, do you know what this is? It's a microwave. Me and my brother do that all the time after we go, what's up?